What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dippin' in the building. You know what time it is. So, hey, man. I know that I said a couple videos ago that I was back, but I ain't lying this time. I wasn't lying last time. I just got busy. Life happens, you know what I'm saying? You understand. But today starts day one of the 600 plus F20B turbo build. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So uh, take a walk with me in the shop. So this is what we gonna do. So today, I got, this is the plan. And it's a little dark, the lighting sucks back here. Um, but I got my old block. This is the very first F20B that I blew up. Um, like last summer, or I don't remember when exactly it was. But you can go back, there's a video um, right when I blew it. Um, the reason why I have this one here and why I never threw it out is because even though the block is toasty, like really like, toasty. yeah, <laughs> this one, the head is the manual F20B head. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the head. It's real clean. I mean, real clean. It's cleaner than, uh, let me see if I can turn this thing around. This one's way cleaner than the one that's on the, the motor that's in the car now. So I'm going to take this head off and use this head. And I'm going to use, obviously, the CSS block, which is right here. You guys remember that video where I showed you guys this? It's still here, still fresh, and still clean. You feel me? So, so yeah, with all that being said, I do have, uh, for you guys who um, watched, I forget what video it was, but I told you guys that uh, I was missing a few parts. I think it was, I don't remember what video it was. Anyway, it's not important. What's, what is important is your boy got the new parts. You know what I'm saying? They here. So I'm gonna show you the new parts real quick. Real, real quick because, you know what I'm saying? It's time, yeah, I'm sweating. It's hot. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm gonna show you guys the parts real quick that I was missing in order to start the build that I now have, so. All right, so first up, we got the KS Tune uh, oil pump with the um, balance shaft uh, holes plugged already, courtesy of, you know what I'm saying, KS Tune. Um, no, this is not sponsored. They just got good stuff. Hopefully, we'll get to the point where we're getting sponsored. But not yet. But, um, yeah, so I got that. I got the old faithful... ARP head studs. I also have, oh, wait a minute, King's Racing. I saw some good stuff and I saw some other reputable builds using these, so I decided to go with these. These are King's Racing main bearings and rod bearings. I don't know which one's which, but they're both. And then the thrust washers. Um, and then, last but not least, my Cometic um, F20B head gasket. So, because Focus, focus. So because you can see it says F20B 2.0, 86 millimeter. So originally the F20B, I believe, I might be wrong on this. Um, if I am wrong, I'll put the correction on the screen. But I think it comes 85 millimeters normally. Um, but because my pistons are 85.5, I went with the 86 millimeter Cometic head gasket for the F20B. And that was all I was missing, aside from a few tools to go ahead and put this thing together. So, yeah man, this might be a long video, but it's gonna be very informational. So, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned, because we finna build our very first F20B motor from scratch.
something. That's pretty much it. That's how you remove your head off of your F20B. Uh, I gotta say, it was being my first time, it was a lot simpler than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, so you could almost use this information to change out a head gasket if you needed to, because literally I'm to the point where you would uh, take off the old head gasket and put the new one. So if you have, an, if you have a head gasket issue, um, and you want to do it yourself, that's pretty much the same, you do the same thing. The only step that you didn't see was taking off the valve cover, which is, I believe is like eight to nine or 10, 10 millimeters, and that just pops right off. So that's the only step I didn't show you. Um, and of course, when you do the timing, uh, when you do the head gasket, you gotta do the timing belt, which I already have videos on. So you have all the information you need, guy. But um, <clears throat> looking at the, uh, pistons, yeah, I'm sweating. I'm still sweating. It's still hot. You know what I'm saying? But looking at the uh, man, this thing won't act right. Looking at the um, actual pistons, damn it, man. Looking at the actual pistons, you can see where. And those of you who have been uh, following the channel for a while, you'll know that um, it was this uh, rod that snapped, and that's why this one is sitting lower because the, the the two center ones are supposed to be at the same height and you can see that this one is a lot lower because there's no rod my guy no rod you know what I'm saying but other than that um this block is now pretty much completely trash I would assume that the pist the pistons themselves are good I'll have to take them out at some point and check them but um yeah that's pretty much it man so now I got everything laid out so when I do the, uh, when I start transferring everything over to the new block, the CSS one, now obviously the head, I'm gonna have to send the head out to a machine shop to get decked, make sure that's flat and ready to go. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this crank. More than likely the way that rod exploded in this block, pretty sure it's bent, unusable, but I mean, I can always check and see, but I also have, the, uh, the crank out of my other F20B that's actually in the car right now. So I got options, but got everything laid out. And uh, now I just gotta take this bad boy out and I'm missing some bolts to get it on the engine stand. So I'm pretty sure that's the end of this video. So yeah, it's pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just know I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Prelude content non-stop. I'm going to be posting back to my regular schedule every Wednesday uh, at 12 o'clock. I'm going to try to make up for the inconsistency, which has been my channel for the past three months. I may even throw some extra videos in there. I might try to pump these out as fast as I can record them just to make up for the lost time. But... With that being said, if you know somebody who needs to see this information, what is my screen doing? That joint is flipping all kinds of colors. Anyway, if you know somebody who needs this information, share the video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. And you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Hit that so you guys don't miss any future content. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.